comfortable, please turn off your video so that you can still enjoy the meeting while being comfortable. With that all said and done, I will pass the floor to our Madam President, Patricia Yap. The floor is yours. Thank you so much, folks. Such an amazing, amazing money day. And I proudly declare the meeting is open. Yay, everyone, if you feel empowered right now, give yourself a big round of applause, a big circle round of applause. And if you are able to, follow after me. I have the power. Unmute yourself if you can. I have the power. I have the power. I have the power. You have the power. You have the power. You have the power. We have the power. We have the power. <laughs> With this, we are so honored to have many, many powerful members and guests. Let me share with you some of the success stories of our members lately. I'm so happy Patsy is taking on the role of a Gumaria. Believe it or not, she is a first timer. And I told her the universe has designed to have her take on the role. So she has no choice but to step up as the Gumaria. Thank you, Patsy. Another great celebration, of course, goes to our sister from another mom, Alicia Curtis. She certainly have exercised her power for the past many, many weeks, if not months. She is now in a much better space. You can certainly feel your vibes over the Zoom. Thank you so much, Alicia, for showing us how we are always empowered ourselves to be the next best version of ourselves. And of course, I can't say enough congratulational wishes to both Suisin and Mizi because both of them are getting ready to fly to the next, next stage in their life. As a human being, Mizi has been promoted quite some weeks ago, I believe, and Suisin is starting out her own business, which I'm very proud of. And with this, ladies and gentlemen, if you are able to fly together with our postmaster of the day, Alif, who have transformed himself over the past many years, actually. He's right now a law student, and I know he's going to be a great, great barista when he graduates very, very soon. Right, Alif? Woohoo! With this, I'm going to introduce the very, very introverted Alif, but he's not really introverted. You have to see another side of Alan, who can be very extroverted as well. With this, ladies and gentlemen, let's give a round of applause to welcome our SAA Count Toastmaster of the day, Alan Sam Simon. Take it away. Woohoo! Thank you, our Madam President Patricia Yap. To answer her question earlier, am I an introvert? I think I am an extrovert because when I talk to people, I get energy. It's just that I am those lazy extrovert. I just don't want to talk to you because I'm lazy. Because knowing people is hard work. With all said and done, welcome everyone to advance hashtag other speakers today with the meeting team, the power of you. So up this year, this term, this club has gone through a, a, a multiple power series from Talmizi's power of clubbing to power of intuition to all sorts of power. Well, today, let me remind you the most powerful thing in the world. You. You can go, you can do anything if you want. But if you don't believe in yourself, nothing, there's nothing to be done. You cannot done and do anything if you don't believe. As that one person said, if you don't believe, then you cannot believe that it can be done. And so that's why I choose today's theme, the power of you. Because all from the top of the, of the pyramid, the presidents, the, all those prime ministers, king and all, to the bottom of the ladder, you and me, 
we are all have we have to all believe in ourselves. If not, nothing can be done. You cannot succeed. You can succeed without believing in yourself, but you will be a, a bit hollow, in my opinion. So I like to challenge you all to do one simple thing today. Believe. Believe, my child. Believe in yourself and you can empower yourself. And so I have wished, I, I hope you have all started to believe in yourself if you haven't yet. And I will empower our today's grandma, Rian, Patsy, who will be take, counting our R's and ums and also counting our grammatical mistake and good phrases to, to introduce the word of the day for today. Patsy, can you introduce the word of the day? Thank you very much, Alif, our Toastmaster of the day. I am taking the best example of uh, believing myself when Patricia asked me to do this grammarian duty, which I have never done with the Arden uh, speakers. It's going to be my first time and because I believe the power of me and you and they that's inspired, be empowered by every opportunity. So I'm going to serve you the grammarian duty. Let's keep using this word of day, empower, empower yourself. Thank you. Back to our team. TM, Thank you. Thank you, our grandma Rian. A goal rarely used in those masters, grandma Rian, grammarian, and our counter combined to empower. And I had empowered her to use, and I'm sure that you are empowered to use the word of the day for today. Also, our timer for today, Sanduni, she will be taking care of the time. And I won't be calling her to introduce herself in for the sake of timing. And so let's us move to the first part of today's uh, session, which is the prepared speech session. Our speaker today is the vice president of education. And in Toastmasters, without the VPE, as they call it, vice president of everything, the meeting cannot run at all. There's no role players, there's no agenda, and there's no flow. And in short, I'd like to also ask her to, for her speech today with the title, let us call Swissin to the stage. Are you ready, Swissin? Yes, I'm ready. She will be evaluated by a, another. She is. Um, she will be empowered by another person, Alicia, who will be evaluating her speech. And so I will call upon, uh, Tuisin to the stage with her speech title. What is this trying to teach me? What is this trying to teach me? Tuisin, take it away, Tuisin. Ladies and gentlemen, do you love to hear a beautiful love story? If you want to hear, please show me your heart sign. Now I'm going to tell you a love story, which is very beautiful. So last Christmas, there was a cute guy who approached me for three months. Most of my friends and we became friends also. And one day, in the secretariat office, all of our friends play an amazing game, which is like Uno game. And after that, the loser, the last two losers, we have to look at our eyes without blinking. The one who blinked the eyes will lose and have to do what the winner says. So that guy and I have to look at our eyes. In the secretariat office, very romantic. There was a very lovely sound behind uh, as a background music. And we were looking at our eyes each other and nobody blink. And I feel like we are connected. The whole world, only two of us, I feel like this. Very sweet and romantic. And after some months, he proposed me. And I feel like very connected with him. So I give him the answer. Yes, in a park. That park, he even cried because of the answer. 
And you know, we will keep dating. Coffee date, library date, American Center date, movie date, pop up date, a lot of dates. And he is very kind and also took care of me a lot. He showed me a lot of, you know, love signs. And even my friends like, oh, Shri said, you found the right partner. You're so lucky, Shri said. I say, I feel like this too. When we go somewhere and it is very hot, he is ready with the water bottle for me. Open it, open the cup and give it to me. When it is very hot, he is ready with the fan. If he doesn't have a fan, he is doing like this. And my friends say, oh, why are you doing like this in front of a lot of singles? So it was a very lovely stuff. And after that, I have to travel three countries, Malaysia, Indonesia, and Bangkok. And I came back and he was always there. When I travel, he always call me. And whenever I am like uh, homesick or something, he was there making a call till 1 a.m. or 2 a.m. in the early morning until I fall asleep. And after I came back from my uh, traveling, three countries, 31 days, he came and picked me up from the airport. Wow, how lovely. I was so happy. And you know, in our relationship, after five months later, we dated and I started to see that he changed little by little. His words are changing, his actions are changing. And he's told me that he feel like his love is reducing now. He told me like this, wow, do you see someone love a person this much and suddenly just drop like this? So how could I be? Can you feel that? So we just like, okay, let's see. Is it like just for a temporary or just like real or something? So we would decide together. Um, so we decided like to date four dates, four dates every week. We will have a hopper date, movie date and coffee date. We just like simply talk and what was wrong in our relationship. So we just dated like this and we talked and he's told me that he is interested in another girl. When he sees the beautiful girls he is interested in, he wants to date with that girl. And I thought like, maybe this is just a temporary, maybe. So would you like to try these four dates? So we decided to try four dates. And then the last day we were in the Mary Brown uh, restaurant. And then if you want to date more, or if you want to continue this relationship, let's write down, yes. If you don't want to continue this relationship, you can write down, no. So in the paper, guess, what did I write down? I wrote down a big yes, because I just listened to my heart. I love him. I tried my best in this four days. I put all my effort because I love him. But in the note, he wrote down a small no. But we agree that whoever write down one no, we have to agree the answer and we don't have to connect or we don't have to keep in touch with each, each other anymore. So he just wrote down no. So I respect his decision and I respect our decision. So we just broke up beautifully three weeks ago. And at that time, I depressed a lot. I broke down a lot. My heart's broken. And I asked myself, like, why is this happening to my life? I gave him all my love, caring, effort, and everything, you know. But why is this happening into my life? I cry a lot every night. I was so lonely. I miss him a lot. But I tell myself, Shrizi, you don't have to text him. We are still friends on Facebook and Instagram. But you don't have to text him. If you text him, you will lose your dignity, your reputation, your self-esteem. You will lose everything. You must respect yourself. You must love yourself. So I changed my thoughts. Why is this happening to me? Question to what is this 
trying to teach me. So I just realized that it's all about acceptance. He couldn't accept me who I am. He couldn't accept me, my mistake, my flaws, my imperfections. And he is interested in another girl. Even I understand him, but he couldn't accept anything. And he just like follow the temporary happiness or something. So I also make sure myself to accept myself. And now I am gorgeously growing with a lot of dreams and missions. And I'm so happy now. And I love myself now. And I am growing gorgeously. So, dear fellow Toastmaster and guests, if something happened in your life, instead of asking, why is this happening into my life? Instead of asking this question, change your question to, why is this trying to teach me? Back to you, Toastmaster of the day. Thank you, our speaker, Swishi, for that roller coaster of emotions from the highs to the low. And let's let us move on to the next part of our session, the evaluation session, at least by our distinguished Toastmaster Alicia. She requires no introductions. That's how good she is. So if she's ready, I'd like to call her on the stage. Are you ready, Alicia? Oh, absolutely. All right. Absolutely. All right, Lisa, the stage is yours. I feel like singing Taylor Swift's love story song. Okay, I just have to sing it, folks. I really have to sing it. And then it's like, Romeo, take me where somewhere we keep, where we can be alone. I'll be waiting. All there's left to do is run. You'll be the prince and I'll be the princess. It's a love story. Just say yes. But no, it's not a love story, folks. It is not the love story that we were all hoping. Choisin, I'm glad you got rid of this man. I have no idea what his name is, but he sounds like the most useless, pathetic human being on the planet but thank you for sharing your story today with us here on the virtual stage at advanced hashtag RDN speakers and I have to say this was a very vulnerable story that you've delivered to us today I was not expecting the romance and the truth the twists and the tragedies and the irony the puns and all the similes and everything that was involved but thank you for doing that and I also like the fact that you gave it all to us today. You started off with a question and I think that that was really good. Who here has had romance and love? And then you really went into the story, my friend. You really went into the story. It was very open. Now, if I was to deliver a speech like this in Australia, um, I wouldn't get away with it. But you got away with it today because it's you and you are awesome. I like the vulnerability that you shared on the screen. You shared a lot of information and thank you for being so open and charismatic about it. Um, what I suggest in regards to improvement, who is this guy? He sounds like a useless, bat rubbish person and I'm glad you got rid of him. What is his name? Please give, give us a name starting with Q or A. Does, does he have a name? Because I, I just hate this man for what he did to you. <laughs> okay, M. We, we'll just call him M. So M is useless. But I, I, w what I would suggest, if you're going to do this romantic love story, Taylor Swift, wrong Romeo and Juliet love story gone wrong, probably give him a different name, not just M. Give him a name because he is a character in your story. When we're talking about storytelling, because this particular speech was all about storytelling. So one of the requirements of um, the speech was um, to focus on a story, creating a speech that is a story. The member uses it and it's personal. Yes, it met the objective of being personal. But I would suggest when you're doing storytelling, and especially story sharing, which is what you did on the, on the stage today, is giving the characters names. You can even give yourself a different name and speak in the third person. I actually think this would have been better in the third person rather than done first and second person between you as the first person and the second person as M, whoever he is, Mr. Mr. Mean, we'll call him. And I think if you had done it in third person and had called them Alien and Godzilla, because he can be Godzilla because he sounds like an absolute a-hole, um, 
and I just absolutely hate this guy. So maybe give the, the third person and talk it from the third person, you as the storyteller and going into the story rather than you in the story and sharing out. So from the first and second person out, you in the first person, going in as the third person and going in. So yes, I am being quite blunt and honest. But thank you for having that opportunity for allowing me to sing and fail in singing. And I'm glad it's not the love story and the romantic um, botany that we needed to hear today. And I'm glad you found your true authentic self. Congratulations, Tracing, and I'll send over the evaluation form. Thank you. Thank you, for Alicia, for that wonderful evaluations, empowering speaking speech to be a better speaker. And so let me also call upon the next session, which is the table topic session by our table topic master, Daphne. Daphne, are you okay? You ready? Okay. Hi, good afternoon, everyone. How are you? So for today, because it's the power of you, let's have a team of powers. Now for table topic, please volunteer yourself if you have not volunteered yourself. And if you would like to be the next speaker, just leave your name there, I'll take note of it. So who wants to be the first person to go for table topic? Let me see who is a raver. What about BT? BT, are you here? Aha, uh -huh, Alicia. I'm here. All right, we go with BT first. Yeah, Alicia, you come next. Okay, Alicia, as you can see behind me, power one, two, three, four. So which do you want to choose? I like power four because green is Power my four. Okay, yeah. that's good. Now, BT, share with us. Wait, huh? one more. Yeah, share huh? with is, is it Alicia or Bitty? Bitty, Bitty. We go with Bitty. Oh. All right. Oh. Okay. Bitty, the time. Oh, but um, excuse me, because Alicia chose the topic, maybe let her go. Okay, first. okay. I'll, I'll let, in that case, I'll let Alicia first because A comes before B, right? Alicia, what's the number again? Four, right? Power four. Power number four. four. If you have the power to change anything, what would that be? If you have the power to change anything, what would that be, Alicia? Oh, there's many things I would love to have the power to change. I would love to have the power to change my circumstances in life. I would love to have the power to be able to go back 18 months ago and not go through having a disability. I would love to have the power to be able to be sitting in my own place and not having to live with people and screaming children because as you can tell I'm very maternal and I'm really enjoying screaming children at six o'clock in the morning knocking on the door and I'm ready to absolutely um, strangle the child. I would love to have the power to be able to do whatever I could and the power that I would like to do or to have is to be able to not sit on medication and to not have pain every single day. I went to the shopping mall today. I wanted McDonald's. Macca's didn't happen. I ended up having Mexican food because that looked a little bit more interesting. It's like five minutes away, Macca's, so I'm very happy. And then I get halfway through the walk and guess what? Pain starts. Out comes the drugs. And I look like an absolute pharmacy in my little bag, in my purse. And I'm like, okay, I just want to be able to one day walk through a shopping center, not have to deal with this crap and be able to go walk, 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 not have to stop with a walking stick and look like an absolute frail, over useless human being. But hey, that is the lovely situation. And I'm laughing at it because what can you do? You just gotta laugh at this stupidity of my life. And yes, I did take the drugs. It was fantastic. It made me feel great afterwards because I can't feel the pain. It masks the pain. But I just would like to go for one day, no drugs, no pain, and no nothing. Just be able to walk in, be a boring human being, go to the shops, walk in, and walk out and do boring stuff. But my life is not boring, as we've all noticed. It's actually quite entertaining. 
and the drugs and the pain just adds a lot more frivolity to the how you look at the things, you know, the pains that you are going through, the suffering, whether it's physical or your life, and yet you manage to twist it and make it a bit, inject the human element into it and share with us. Yeah, that's the power to change every, of course, when we are suffering from physical pains, the number one thing, always think, our body, our health. All right, next, I shall have BT. BT, power one, two, three. Which one do you prefer? Power one, please. Power one. All right. The one moment you had empower another person. The one moment you had empower another person. Bitti? Empowerment. Wow. That would be a very beautiful story. 29 years ago, Oh, sorry, 30 years ago, I was pregnant. And the most beautiful life I, that I brought to this earth would be my daughter. She was a tiny bitty baby there, sitting in front of me. And now she has been a grown up. For the past two months, we have been packing our luggages and furnitures for the removal this coming week. Yesterday, she was on her day off at her 29 plus while she was pulling the trolley out from our home to the new apartment. I look at her back and I talk to myself, my goodness, for the past 29 years, I have raised and empowered her to be a strong lady pulling the trolley and the boxes. And because I am getting older, after 29 years bringing her up, so this is the time that she is the master of our home movement. Look at her from a tiny little one to a big lady is so amazing. Empowerment, mm, I think, is from our in internal and external. Internally, we love each other, we support each other. Externally, while she was building the strength, she helped her mother to do all this heavy duty job. What is empowerment? There, stay with love and trust. Thank you, everyone. Back to Daphne. All right. Thank you, Bitti, for sharing with us how you brought up your daughter and how you empowered your daughter to be in her life that she is today. Next, we shall have Albert. Albert, now you are left with power two and power three. Can I have a power three, please? Power three. Three. Okay. Yes. Albert, share with us what change you had ever made to someone in your life. What change or changes you had ever made to someone in your life, Albert? Sorry, what change have I made to someone? Yeah. Have you ever made some changes in to someone in your life that means you have made someone in their life or you can do it in their life what are the changes you have ever made to someone in their life thank you madam topics master after two very inspiring story from the first two speakers i would like to take a different turn to this topic this uh, this morning i had a very difficult conversation with one of my protege in toastmasters I was trying to make her see my viewpoint about staying in the club and developing the club. I pointed out to her that great clubs don't just happen. Great clubs exist because the members stay, they grow with the club, and then they stay back to build the members. 
but she has a very different viewpoint. According to her viewpoint, if the club doesn't fulfill her needs, she goes. And that's it. And it hurts me, actually. I didn't expect that Toastmasters could actually hurt me emotionally, but it did in this moment because she was one of the protégés whom I really value. And when she said this, I was wondering, what could I have done to change her, to change her mindset from a customer to a member? And I was actually still digesting this thing, but I think one of the points which I came across was my own journey in Toastmasters. Now, I don't know if some of you know, but 12 days ago, sorry, uh, 10 days ago, I left my company club, MISC. I started off in that club. And I asked myself a similar question. I mean, if I am to put on the same standard to myself, why did I leave? Why didn't I stay? And I came to the conclusion is because I left the club because I thought that the club needs to have its own future without my legacy dangling over them like a piece of trophy and say that you've got to follow the same standards. So I left because I feel that the club needs to set up its own future. So that's why I left my company club. But was that truly the case? Or was it because I was so disappointed that the company club has become in such status that I just decided to give up and go. So there I was. I was grappling between these two issues and that's what makes it so complex to continue with the conversation this morning. But my conscience is clear. When I do something, I decide and I go on it. I don't look back. But sometimes it's just worth reflecting on our objectives and our agendas and our intent. Why did we really do what we did? So the next time you did any change to someone, examine our motivations. Was it truly for them or would it for, be for us? With that, I leave it to you all and back to Table Topics Master. All right, thank you, Toastmaster Albert, for sharing with us about your story and your uh, the story that you had with your club. Well, basically, for my case, I myself also encountered such a similar situation. I brought the club to a president distinguished yet. The next term, I left. Why? Because I wanted to empower the members to work on so that they can expand on their uh, leadership. Otherwise, I'll be like, dominating the club all the time and uh, they'll be relying on me. So I, I knew that I had to leave and I left. Sometimes it's a hard decision, but what has to be done had to be, what has to be, had to be done. All right. Now, next, may I have Sanduni? Are you okay to take a topic? Otherwise, Miji, either Sanduni or Miji. So Miji is not turning on his video. So Sanduni, are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm okay. Uh, let me let me uh, go out. <laughs> now, let me get up. Hold on, 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 hold on. Okay, okay, that's it, that's it. All right, Miji. Now. I'm left with one question. I will create another question, another topic for you, Sandoni, if we have the time. All right, Tamizi, share with yep. us the moment you had of being empowered by someone else. The moment you had of being empowered by someone else. Tamizi? Empowering someone is not easy. Usually, we like to cling to the powers that we have, the responsibility that we have. And we would just want our subordinates or people under us, or even our children, just follow, don't ask. But for the last couple of years, I realized that that's not right. That's the old way of doing things. It's all about empowering. When I was uh, the president in MIMPL last term, one of the best advice that I received from a good friend who is a member, she said to me, Mizi, empower the members. Give them responsibility and trust them. And like, the same message I got when I went to one of, one of the club meetings, uh, TMIKL. In one speech, she said that you can't hold on to any, everything. 
you if you hold on to that you will just die die alone but empower so my mess my what i I would like to do now. I would just like to empower and give them responsibility. Trust them. If they fail, so so what? We move on. My advice to all of us: empower and don't worry. Over to you, table topic master. All right. Thank you, Tamizi, for sharing with us how we should go about when empowering someone else to show the the leadership position in their leadership journey. Well, to continue what I shared earlier on after I, I mentioned about this, uh, when I left the club, what I did is that I saw the leadership was very weak. So what we did, or what I did is I went back to the club and I helped them in the sense that I go in and get myself as an advisor that is for an advisor without being a member. Why? Because I do not want to meddle with the club, yet I want to give them the psychology support. That's what I did so that they can work on their own. All right. Now, next. Sandu, do you still have time? If yes, then I shall have you. It's not comfortable enough at the moment. This week. Pardon? Uh, I think we don't have time. All That's right, what Sandini, have... Sandini okay. says. In that case, with that, I end my session. Back to you, Toastmaster of the day. Thank you, our Table Topic Master, Daphne, for such wonderful topics. And so, with all those four, top, four speakers, let me empower you and torture you all to choose one's winner. Let me launch the poll while it's loading. You are now empowered to vote for the best table topics. While you are voting for the best table topics, let us hear from our Gemarian today. Eh, for, no, I skipped the table topic evaluators, Denisa, to give her evaluations of the of the of all the table topics. If that is my set in done, Denisa. Thank you so much, Ali, for empowering me to be the table topics evaluator for today. Firstly, I would like to give a round of applause to all the table topic speakers for empowering yourself to try out these, these topics. I'll start with Alicia. Alicia, your topic was, if you have the power to change anything, what would that be? Now, what I really liked about it is that you started by jumping right into the topic. You started by, I wish I had this power, I wish you had that power. In fact, you had so many powers. Uh, so what I think you can improve is, because of your excitement, may I suggest that you pause and use more different tones. Example, difference in experiencing your emotions. Or maybe talk about the kind of medication that you wish to reduce. All in all, I really enjoyed your speech and that is what I think could take your table topics to another higher level. Next, we have BT. Your topic was the one moment you had empowered another person. What I really like about your story, BT, was that you, I love your story, which is about your daughter. I'm a daughter too, so I know how that feels for me, especially having a mother that loves me so much. So it really touched me in the heart when you talked about how you empowered your daughter. What I think you can improve is that I noticed that you didn't have your camera on. If you had your camera on, I would be able to tell your facial expression, uh, your smile when you spoke about your doctor. So if you could turn on your camera, it would be really great. Okay. All in all, happy packing <laughs> all those boxes. And next, we have Albert. Albert, your topic was, what change or changes you have made in someone's life? Uh, what I liked about your topic is that I love the personal story about your journey in Toastmasters, how difficult it was that you built up a club, how disappointing it was for you. And in a way, when I put myself in your story or empathetically put myself in your shoes, I realized that I went through the same thing even in my working life as well as my personal life. And what I think you should improve maybe that you could tell a story about what happened to that person. Because I was so curious, you started off with 
feeling really disappointed with that particular incident. How I was curious to know what actually happened to that person. Maybe if you could tell me more what actually happened, I would be more happy to know more stories about this particular topic. All in all, a really great uh, table topic and the way you tackled it was amazing. Next is Tamizi. Tamizi, your topic was the moment you have been empowered by someone else. What I really like is that the story was, again, extremely relatable to me in a way that you, you have learned that it's not all about receiving or reflecting it or pushing it out to other people to do it, but it's more like how we can actually empower others to make them become better people. What I think you could have used more is more time because I felt that you really rushed into the topic. Maybe if you slow down and give a conclusion to what happened to those that you empowered, I think that would have been really great. All in all, I really appreciate and admire how all the table topics have table topics uh, speakers that you have done. Um, I congratulate you guys, and that's all from me. Thanks, and back to you. Alice. Thank you, our table topic evaluations, for empowering more those table topic speakers today. And I think we have all used the word of the day, empowering. So let us let me call upon the grammarian Patsy to state her grammarian report. Take it away, Patsy. Thank you very much. It's a matter of the day, Alisa. My honor. It is my first time to be a grammarian online for art and speakers, especially. I have learned I was empowered by this amazing beauty. Okay, let me go through the art counter report first that I will give you a something about my reflection. Our content reports are for speakers and evaluators because you were so eloquent. I forgot how to count you. I assure you don't have any art. Five stars. Yeah. Okay. For the table topics. <laughs> for the table topics, I, I did have a little time to track down. Alicia, and I believe you had one. I said believe, but because I still was, I was so amazed. And for Betty. Betty used four times empower, okay, or empowerment. Albert once, because I'm still concentrating on the other side of what you're speaking. And Nisi, Nisi, you are the, the star of the empowerment of the day. You actually use six, six times empower those words. Gosh. Well, round of applause to you, Missy. And Kinesa, you use at least, at least one time. Okay, rest of it. My turn to give you some feedbacks about what I thought was so inter interesting for our prepared speaker, Susan. You use the word the guy approached to me. It's so beautiful to explain that and proposed to me. So this is a nice word. And I also like that uh, the word of uh, losing your dignity. Okay, that is, uh, is something to describe yourself. Nice. But there are two questions I do like you to think over. One is, his love is a great beauty. Do you hear that refusing or actually could be another word to replace that fading away or et cetera? Could be another alternative. And he, he has seen another girl. May we say he has seen some somebody new, someone new, okay? And another thing is that broke up beautifully. I don't think that the, the broke up a relationship could be so beautiful. So that must be some other word to supplement. I love the Alicia, the word of pathetic human being. That's usually I describe to my husband. <laughs> okay, pathetic. It's a very nice word. 
vulnerability. Vulnerability, that's a nice word, but not easy to pronounce. So I recognize that. And not to mention, BT has mentioned the word of, uh, I have a raised and empowered my daughter. And Albert says, uh, without my legacy, to the Toastmaster. By all means, it's my first time. The power of me, our power of you can be so marvelous. Thank you very much, Toastmaster of the day. Thank you, Patsy, for at first thing, believing in yourself and believing in the power of you by taking on the role. So take, give her a round of applause because she did such a wonderful job with the Grammarian role. And so let me call upon our next our next uh, role player, the, the Rolex, the Tech Hewer, the all those watch brands name, time our timer for today, Sandoni, to give a timer's report. Yeah, thank you very much, Alif. So, uh, prepared to speak, it's three seven minutes and 35 seconds. Uh, the evaluation, Alicia, three minutes and 13 seconds. BT, two minutes and 18 seconds. Albert, two minutes and 41 seconds. Tamizi, one minute and 23 seconds. Bramilian Patsy, it's three minutes and 24 seconds. You done, Saduni? All right. Thank you, Saduni, for that wonderful report of the timing and how we did in the time. And she has also said in the, in the chat our timing also. So, uh, so thank you, uh, Saduni, for that. And so let us, we have reached almost the end of today's session. And now we have reached the time for the feedback by members and guests. Because today we have no guests, let, I will call upon the members to give a short feedback on today's meeting. And first, let me call upon someone that have a chance to speak, but her speech is it's short and she have, cannot say much about her feelings. Let's call our president, Patricia, to share her feedback. We never heard the president's feedback before. Wow, <laughs> what, a, what a surprise. But I always want to thank all of you for exercising your power. Even though not all of us can be here every single Monday, but the fact that you are a member, I just want to acknowledge the fact that your energy actually is something we truly cherish. In fact, I'm really happy that Alif, you are stepping out of your comfort zone for the past many, many months. I've seen you grow as an individual in a spiritual sense, even though you have stopped growing taller, I think. <laughs> but the beautiful thing is we never stop growing ourselves spiritually a little taller. And that's why we call ourselves an advanced club. We always want to be advanced, not just in speaking and leadership, but more so how to practice that advanced value in our own personal life, meaning to say, when we are hit by setbacks, which is a common thing as a human being, how do we bounce back? How do we come back stronger? How do we not lose hope? In fact, I also want to highlight one of the members, Savine Chia, whom I met yesterday morning. I'm so inspired by her, her energy to pick herself up and to come back to life again. She went through a very traumatic experience, but yesterday she shared with me her so-called very inspiring journey. But if you look at the entire journey itself is very scary. And she told me there has been so many times she wants to end her life, but she never took that step because 
she exercised the power in her. So the reason why we are coming with this power series, it's going to be ongoing for the entire year because it's so important for us to really exercise that power in all of us so that we are not disturbed by that external force which can be very, very destructive to all of us. I think that is the one key reason why we call ourselves an advanced club so that we are able to help one another to pick ourselves up if we need help, if we need support. More so to all of us who are not able to be here, I still want to recognize the soul because the soul, S-O-U-L, is what is going to make us stick together, grow together, and more so really connect with each other. So with this, thank you so much for giving me the space to really share my thoughts. And I can't thank each of you because our soul, when we come together, you will experience that one plus one is no longer two, but it's more than two. Thank you so much, Alif. Thank you. Thank you, our Madam President Patricia, for sharing with us something outside of the normal closing and opening. I know that as a president, you cannot say much outside of the opening or closing. So let's give her a chance sometimes to share her emotions. And so we have reached the the the, the good photo part. So let me call upon Patsy to take our good photo for today's meeting. Definitely. Um, may I invite everyone to switch on? Betsy and Susie, could you please, and also Alicia, definitely, everyone, please switch on your camera. I'm going to just take two shots since we still have a time. Two shots. One is a Toastmasters photo. Toastmasters photo. <laughs> okay, whatever you like. I'm going to count one and two. I'm still waiting for Alicia. Uh, wow. Okay. Um, okay. Three. Smile, please. That's the first one. Thank you. Uh, let me say that, okay, to my drive. As you know, since we have a little bit of time, I'm going to have uh, the second photo. Second group photo will be candid, whatever you like. It's Monday, isn't it? Monday, national holiday in Taiwan. How about your Monday? You don't need to have a national holiday in order to be happy, right? The power of you, you can be happy, whatever you like. Energize yourself. And give yourself a spurt because it's a Monday. Let's see. He, you, one, and two, and look at the camera. Three. Yes. Thank you very much. You guys are so wonderful. Back to Toastmaster of the day. All right. Thank you, our v Vice President of Public Relations, Patsy, for taking our photo and taking our wonderful and beautiful photos. And so let, I will pass the floor to our Madam President, Patricia, for her closing. Wow, it's me again. I'm back on the screen. Okay, today's closing is going to be a little different. I thought I would like to hear that one word that you want to work on for the remaining two and a half months. So what is the particular power that you really want to work on on yourself with that two and a half months left before we say goodbye to 2023? So let's start the ball rolling. It can be any aspect of the power that you really want to work on. We will start with, let me see, who wants to start first? Hmm. Some of us are not able to turn on video. It's totally okay. But I will have Tanisa to start first because I think Tanisa is working on something very, very important for her life right now. So Tanisa, take it away. I, I am going to tell myself, the power in myself, to stop procrastinating. <laughs> to stop procrastinating and I want to do more stuff. That means I, I, I kind of like to delay stuff. I have a lot of ideas and sometimes I get distracted easily. So I want to tell myself, the power in myself to not procrastinate. At least to get to the big things, right? I want to do the little things. So example, my big goal is Triple Crown 
and I want to slowly get to my triple crown before the term ends. So that's for those masters. That's for Fantastic. me. Fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. All right. We also certainly want to hear whenever you are ready, BT, you can unmute yourself while I now call. Patsy has a lot going on in her life as well, right, Patsy? So we'd like to hear what is the one thing you want to work on your power for the next two and a half months. After Patsy will be Daphne, if you can, whenever you're uh, ready. Yeah. The power, yeah, the, the last half of things are going on. I heard Albert's speech. As a matter of fact, I'm also planning to leave my legacy, my Zoom master skills uh, with my home club members. Uh, as I really negotiated with my club president, my home club president, and the hangover usually has to be gracefully. So I gave myself about six months to train the deputy VPE. So this is a power of myself to give out my skills and knowledge so uh, so I can step into even to explore more the job like a VPPR. I'm more interested in editing, how to write a script as, with a Patricia's uh, assistance uh, lately. So I wish uh, every uh, one day I will become even more mature, more independent. That's the power of myself. I like to explore that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Certainly you'll be very successful. All right, 20 seconds for you, Daphne, because time is running out. After Daphne will be Albert, 20 seconds on something power in you that you want to work on. Daphne, go ahead. Basically, if I share with you, uh, Patricia, I'm working on managing a panel of discussion, online management okay. of discussion. Yes. yes, that's number one. Number two is that I'm working towards, uh, because I'm trying to uh, complete my this DTM, if possible, this term itself. So that's why I'm working on uh, getting a club mentorship and as well as a club sponsor, a club sponsor role, especially the club mentor role that I'm looking on. And I'll be looking, working on a speech craft as well later, either end of this year, so that it can be held next year. And apart from that, I'm looking towards if, if in the case that I can't be found a club mentor, why not think about charter a new club? Wow, exciting, exciting. Let's as, hear from Albert. Power will be attracted. Yeah, exactly. Thank you, Thank you uh, yeah, Albert. Okay, I hear that chattering the new club thing. So, okay, <laughs> right. Um, right. For me, I just received a letter from my company last week saying that I'm now released from the scholarship obligations. So I was on sponsorship bond to work for my company for 12 years. Yeah, it sounds kind of similar to 12 years, the slave movie, but uh, well, okay, I wasn't a slave, but then, you know. Um, so I completed 12 years working for this company. And I think that letter is also indirectly telling me to think about my future. So that's what I'm going to do for the next two and a half months. Think about my future. Good, good. Think about your future. Good. Alicia, quick words from you that you want to work on for the next two and a half um, months. I'm definitely launching my business. I'm looking at presentation skills and public speaking coach. I've been speaking with a couple of people. Last night, I had the opportunity of speaking, as I said, to the TEDx speaker, last night and she's now going to open up a few more doors she's already talking to me um off to the side and i'm about to head back to the shops because my headphones don't work and i need to get good set because i need to have them to be able to present to you guys so yes that's my life very confusing and love seeing everyone so i'll be off have a good one thank you ladies and gentlemen because time is running out we're going to declare who the best table topic in our session is today so let's get Alip to show us the slides. Ladies and gentlemen, who would be the best table topic speaker for today's meeting 120, The Power of You? Drum roll, please. Woo da, 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 da. Let's congratulate Bitty Ng. Bitty Ng, you did not on your screen, but we heard your message. Congratulations, Bitty, <laughs> for being the Thank winner. You. Bitty, are you able to? Yes, I know it's going to be hard. So. Keep speaking so that we can catch you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you so much for the very powerful message. Thank you. Can we quickly Thank take you. a photo? May, yeah. may I take a photo? Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm going to count one and two, three. 
Thank you. Back to Patricia. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're Do welcome. stay back for a quick, quick get together because we certainly have more to share. And I want to appreciate all the role players today. Thank you so much, Zoom Master TOD Aleph, and our speakers, we seen speech evaluator Alicia, Daphne, certainly Tanisa as table topics evaluator, grammarian Patsy, you have aced it certainly. And certainly our timer, Sanduni, who has been so faithful in your role. Thank you so much with this. Let's spotlight everybody and take a quick photo. Great, are you ready? I'm gonna yes. count, count down. Three, <laughs> two, one. Yeah. Okay, thank you so much. Down. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So we probably declared the meeting is over. Please stay back because I haven't been able to hear from certainly Alif Suisin and also Sanduni what you would like to do for the next two and a half months. Okay, so before you go, Sanduni, quickly share with us and Tamizi as well what you would like to do for the two and a half months. Quickly, yes. Yes, we are here to support you, Sanduni, if you are able to. If you can't speak, then you can type. Yes, we will get Suisin to get ready. Suisin, I know you are in for a lot of great things as well. And BT uh, as well, yes. Okay, so for me, like, I would like to put uh, a lot of effort in Journey to Victory, Public Speaking and English, my page. Mm. I would like to collaborate with other clubs in Yangon and create more events. Yeah. Oh, wow. Amazing. BT, anything we can support you and you would like to you know, share with us for the two and a half months? What are some things that you're working on? You mean me? Yes. Oh, um, actually, I was very focused on the whole and question. I think that is a very good question to ask. Um, so I was thinking, um, after the removal of this coming um 